Hello everyone, this is Dr. Naz and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be discussing about mumps, which is a systemic viral infection and it is endemic worldwide. So it is caused by paramexovirus and its incubation period is 15 to 24 days. It is transmitted via respiratory droplets and infectivity period is 2 days before to 3 days after parotid swelling. In mumps, parotid swelling occurs. So 2 days before the swelling and 3 days after the swelling, the infectivity period lasts. So it occurs primarily in school going children and the prodromal symptoms are non-specific that is fever, malaise, headache etc and it is followed by parotid gland enlargement so the parotid gland is involved it is bilaterally involved in 75% of cases and there is tender parotid enlargement it is very painful and uh, sometimes when the patient takes citrus fruits or citrus juices the pain increases with it it is a benign condition and it resolves within one week you can clearly appreciate in the picture swelling of the parotid gland so the complication of mumps include epididyme or orchitis it occurs in 25 percent of post pubertal male and it causes testicular atrophy however a sterility is unlikely the most common complication is meningoencephalitis which is benign and self-limiting ophoritis which is less common acute pancreatitis abortion if infection occurs during the first trimester of pregnancy then it can meet it can lead to abortion myocarditis hepatitis polyarthritis labyrinthitis transient hearing loss these are also the complications of mumps how do we diagnose mumps it is a clinical diagnosis but we can also perform mumps specific IgM for acute infection and IgG zero conversion for chronic infection PCR can also be done in the first week of infection it can be cultured from urine or it can be detected in PCR after first week of infection and PCR sample can be taken from urine saliva or CSF that is cerebrospinal fluid other investigations may include full blood count which will show lymphocytosis complement protein test can be done so how we are going to manage the disease first is supportive treatment supportive treatment will include analgesics antipyretics if patient is having fever and plenty of fluids we have to treat orchitis with bed rest and local support steroids can be given for arthritis the vaccination to prevent mumps infection is measles mum rubella MMR and it work up to 10 years and booster of this vaccine can be given 4 to 6 years of age thank you so much Please like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I get motivation to make further videos and uh, I hope you will understand the topic and if you want to ask any question you can comment in the comment section. Thank you.